The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Numbers. The rabble who had joined the people were feeling the pangs of hunger, and the Israelites began to weep again. Who will give us meat to eat, they said. Think of the fish we used to eat free in Egypt, the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic. But now we are withering away. There's nothing wherever we look except this manna. The manna was like coriander seed and had the appearance of delum. The people went round gathering it and ground it in a mill or crushed it with a pestle. It was then cooked in a pot and made into pancakes. It tasted like cake made with oil. When the dew fell on the camp at nighttime, the manna fell with it. Moses heard the people weeping, each family at the door of its tent. Yahweh's anger was greatly aroused. Moses, too, found it disgraceful, and he said to Yahweh, Why do you treat your servants so badly? In what respect have I failed to win your favor? For you to lay the burden of all these people on me. Was it I who conceived all these people? Was I their father for you to say to me, Carry them in your arms like a foster father carrying an unweaned child to the country which I swore to give their fathers? Where am I to find meat to give all these people, pestering me? with their tear, tears and saying, give us meat to eat. I cannot carry all these people on my own. The weight is too much for me. If this is how you mean to treat me, please kill me outright. If only I could win your favor and be spared the sight of my misery. And our response from Psalm 81. So I left them to their stubborn selves to follow their own devices. If only my people would listen to me, if only Israel would walk in my ways. At one stroke I would subdue their enemies, turn my hand against their opponents. Those who hate Yahweh would woo his favor, though their doom was sealed forever. While I would feed him on pure wheat, would give you your fill of honey from the rock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus received this news, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the crowds heard of this and leaving the towns went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them and healed the sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, this is a lonely place and time has slipped by. So send the people away and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, there's no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, all we have with us is five loaves and two fish. So he said, bring them here to me. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples, who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps left over, twelve baskets full. Now about five thousand men had eaten, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord.